स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस कोर्स दिस इज यूनिट नंबर वन कंबाइन डायरेक्ट एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस आई एम द कोर्स टीचर मिस्टर सुरेंद्र नाथ एस जाधव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट के आई आई टी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर दिस इज लेसन नंबर सेवन लेटेस्ट टेक अ रिव्यू ऑफ लेसन नंबर सेवन इन द लेसन नंबर सिक्स लेटेस्ट टेक रिव्यू ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन लेसन नंबर सिक्स इन दिस लेसन सिक्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द डायरेक्ट एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस एट द बेस ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर डैम एंड दिस डायरेक्ट एंड बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज इंड्यूस इन द बेस ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर डैम ड्यू टू द सेल्फ फेट ऑफ द डैम एज वेल एज द वॉटर फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द डैम and for that we required various terms that is x term d term eccentricity how can we calculate this for the rectangular dam all the things we discuss in the lesson number 6 now this is the lesson number 7 in this lesson 7 we discuss about the trapezoidal dam in that dam trapezoidal type of dam we are discussing the trapezoidal dam having water face vertical so let us consider trapezoidal dam having water face vertical so here in this figure you can see trapezoidal dam in which left hand side the water uh, for water is exist and water is stored in the left hand side and the the dam face is vertical on the left hand side so capital h is height of dam and small h is height of water next small a is the top width of the dam and small b is the bottom width of the dam w is weight density of water that is 9.81 kN per meter cube and f is the force due to uh, force due to water exert on the vertical face of the dam w not is the weight density of dam masonry and w capital w is weight of the dam per unit length of the dam so here similar to the rectangular dam there are two forces are acting first is the force due to the water in contact with the side of the dam and sim formula how to calculate the force due to water f is equal to w a h bar and a h is nothing but h multiply by 1 because length of the dam is considered as 1 and h bar is nothing but the h by 2 so finally we will get the force due to water f is equal to w h square by 2 and that water force will be act horizontally at height of h by 3 from base so next force is the self weight of the dam and that self weight is similar so weight density of dam multiplied by volume so only thing is area is changed in the rectangle dam the area is height multiplied by width in uh, trapezoidal type of dam the area is different so weight density is same that is w not area of dam is here small a plus small b divided by 2 multiply by h and length is 1 so that uh, self weight will be act as the cg of that trapezoidal shape of the dam and that uh, self weight will be in the downward side so next here we have to find out the an distance an distance is nothing but the distance of cg of the trapezoidal section from uh hill of the dam so an is the distance we have to find out for that there are two type of methods so first method we will discussed here so splitting the dam section into the rectangular and triangle this is the trapezoidal type of dam so we have to split this trapezoidal shape into one is the rectangle shape and other is the triangular shape and we have to take movement of the areas about the ac means the vertical face of the dam we have to take the movement about vertical face of the dam 
so and that movement is equating the same with the movement of total area of the trapezoidal section about AAC. So here the area of the rectangle section multiplied by distance of the CG of rectangle from AC plus area of triangle multiplied by distance of CG of rect uh, CG of triangle from AC distance. It is nothing but equal to the total area of trapezoidal multiplied by distance a n. So, here you can see a uh, here you can see uh, rectangle sh shape rectangle area is nothing but the small a multiplied by capital H and the CG will be at the a by 2. So, first uh, figure you will get here small a multiply by h multiply by small a by 2. Next triangle area of triangle is 1 by 2 base is b minus a is the base height is capital H. So, area is nothing but b minus a multiply by h divided by 2 is the area of triangle shape and cg acting at the acting at the one third from the apex sorry two third from the apex and one third from the base so here you can see a plus a plus one third from the base so base where you will find the base so base is nothing but b minus a divided by 3 so total figure second term is b minus a multiplied by h divided by 2 is the area and next a plus b minus a divided by 3 is the lever arm. That total is equal to area of total trapezoidal that is a plus b divided by 2 multiplied by h and distance is a n. From that you will find out the distance a n and this is first time, first method and this is you can use similar second method for second method you have to use directly formula. So, you can find out a n is equal to a square plus a b plus b square divided by 3 a plus b where a is the top width b is the bottom width from that you will find out the a n distance. After find out the a n distance we have to find out the d distance. So, small d is nothing but the where the resultant cuts the base aim point and heel point. So, a m is nothing but the d distance in figure you can see a m distance is the d distance. So, a m is nothing but the a n plus n m, a n plus n m. So, a n plus n m we have to find out. The eccentricity small e is nothing but the d minus a n. Uh, sorry, the eccentricity e is equal to d minus half of the width of the base. So, E is equal to D minus B by 2. So, that eccentricity we require to find out the uh, resultant stress. So, direct stress due to self weight is nothing but the sigma naught is equal to W upon area at the base. So, area at the base is B multiplied by 1. So, total uh, direct stress is equal to sigma naught is equal to W divided by B total stress across the base at B. So, bending stress plus direct stress. So, total stress sigma naught plus sigma B. So, sigma naught is W upon B and sigma B is 6 W E divided by B square. So, sigma max is equal to W divided by B in bracket 1 plus 6 E divided by B is the maximum resultant stress at the base generally acting at the toe of the dam. Next is minimum stress. So, minimum stress is nothing but direct stress minus bending stress. So, direct stress is W by B minus 6 W E divided by B square. So, minimum stress W divided by B in bracket 1 minus 6 E divided by B and that will be acting at generally heel A point. So, these are the steps we have to follow during uh, 
solving the numerical on trapezoidal dam so let us solve one numerical on trapezoidal dam that is the a trapezoidal dam of height 18 meter the dam is having water up to the depth 15 meter on the vertical side the top and bottom width of the dam are 4 meter and 8 meter respectively the weight density of masonry is given as 19.62 kN per meter cube determine the resultant force on the dam per unit per uh, meter length and second the point where the resultant cuts the base and third the maximum and minimum stress intensity at the base so given data in this uh, numerical is height of the dam capital h is 18 meter small h that is the depth of the uh, height of water is 15 meter top width is 4 meter small a bottom width that is small b is 8 meter weight density of masonry is 19.62 kN per meter cube and this is the figure so first we have to find out the pressure force due to the water so pressure force here f is equal to w h square by 2 so w is 9.81 into 10 raise to 3 in terms of newton per meter cube and uh, height is 15 meter 15 square by 2 after that you will get the total horizontal water force acting on the dam is uh, 1103.625 kilometer next where uh, you will uh, where that total horizontal water force will be acting on the dam the position of the dam will be generally h by 3 from base so generally 12 divided by 3 is nothing but sorry 15 divided by 3 is 5 meter so position of center of pressure so force f will be acting horizontally at a height of h by 3 above the base so generally 15 by 3 that is 5 meter next is self weight of the dam so self weight of the dam is nothing but the weight density multiplied by area of the dam multiplied by length is 1 so weight density is 191960 uh, newton per meter cube multiply by area of trapezoidal shape that is the 4 plus 8 divided by 2 multiply by height is 18 and length is 1 meter multiply by 1 from that you will get the self weight of the dam is 2118.96 kN so after that we have to find out the a n distance so a n distance we can use any method if we are using first method so split this trapezoidal dam into rectangle plus triangle shape and equate with the trapezoidal multiply by a n distance so here after uh, splitting you will get the rectangle shape is 4 multiply by 18 multiply by half of the 4 is 2 plus uh, area of rectangle area of triangle is 1 by 2 base is 8 minus 4 that is 4 multiply by height is 18 multiply by cg is 4 plus one third of four this is the left hand side part on right hand side so total area of trapezoid is four plus eight divided by two multiply by height is 18 multiply by a n from that you will find out the a n is 3.11 meter by using first method if we are using second method so we have to use directly formula that is a square plus a b plus b square divided by 3 a plus b here you have to put the a is 4 meter and b is 8 meter after putting all these things you will get the a n is equal to 3.11 meter so next is the resultant force r where the cuts the base so here resultant force is nothing but the under root f square plus w square so f is nothing but the 1103.625 kN and w is 2118.9 kN after putting all these things you will get the resultant force as 
2389.255 km and the next step the point where the resultant cuts the base that is the x distance so x distance is nothing but f divided by w multiplied by h by 3 the formula is same and uh, put all these values here you will get the x is equal to 2.604 so next step is find out the distance d small d is nothing but distance am so heel to where the resultant cuts so d distance is nothing but a n plus n m so a n plus x so a n plus x is nothing but 3.11 plus 2.604 so from that you will get the distance that is d is equal to 5.714 meter and eccentricity is nothing but d minus b by 2 so d is say 5.714 and b is 8 so 8 by 2 we will get the eccentricity is 1.714 after getting eccentricity you can directly find out the maximum uh, stress at the base and minimum stress at the base so maximum total stress at the base is equal to w by b 1 minus 6 e divided by b so w here w is 2118.96 kilonewton b is 8 meter e is 1.714 meter and b is the 8 meter so after putting all these things you will get the sigma max is equal to 605360 newton per meter square or 605.36 kilonewton per meter square the value is positive so maximum stress is compressive and minimum stress we can find out that sigma minimum is equal to w by b 1 minus 6 e divided by b so after putting all this value you will get the minus 75620 newton per meter square and the value is negative that represent the tensile stress will be exerted at the base so generally force will be acting on the right hand side so maximum stress will be exerted on the toe side that is b point and minimum stress will be acting at the heel side that is a point I hope you understand this numerical and theory behind it. Uh, thank you.